Hey guys! So it is Sunday, July 28th, and it's now been two weeks since I updated you guys. Um, what can I say? Life is pretty busy. Um, Julie worked four days the past two weeks, I guess it is. So it was just really crazy, and work was really crazy, and you know, you know, life happens. Um, I did not derail from my plans at all. I have continued to work through my programs. In fact, uh, today is going to be the last workout for the three week, 21 day fix real time that I just will be completing today. Um, so that'll be the second full program that I have completed uh, since starting with uh, Beachbody. Um, I'll do a full sit down on that. Uh, maybe later on do it separately um, but for today because I I had kind of thought to myself like at the beginning of July um, that I was going to buy myself this really cute outfit um, as like a reward for completing the programs and sticking through things and I mean let's face it next Friday no next Sunday I think it is whatever it is the August 5th would be my three months uh, that I've been on this journey. So I wanted to reward myself with something that wasn't food, because <laughs> that's always been my go-to. Anytime there's a celebration or anything, anything, it's always around food. Um, so instead of doing that, um, I decided to treat myself with a new, with new outfit. Um, I did like the outfit that I had looked at and I had fully told myself, yeah, I'm going to buy it because it was a romper and I always wanted to wear a romper and, you know, but then whenever I really got to thinking about it, because they're really hard to get out of whenever you have to go to the bathroom and I drink a lot of water and I just didn't feel like dealing with that. Anyway, thinking about the things that I use the most and what will motivate me to get me to continue on this journey. So I'm excited. I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing. Or an unbagging because it's not in a box. Um, I uh, got myself as a reward two new workout um, outfits. So like, I had my capris and all that stuff, and I've just, I just haven't bought any like official new workout gear really. Um, so I'm really excited. So when I, I haven't taken them out of the bag yet. So these are from Torrid. Um, they, I had, I had hot cash, so they were going to expire. All right, let's see. There's one that is so freaking, I'm so freaking excited for. Okay. So this is the first outfit. And this is my first time actually um, trying on any of the Torrid fitness line. Um, so I'm super excited to see what it's like. Um, just as a quick like disclaimer, I ordered a size 3X. I don't know. Yeah, it's whatever their size 3 is, which is a 22-24. Um, I've been a 4X, which was the 26-28. So I'm hoping that these will fit. Um, my concern is they won't fit for very long as long as I keep on this journey, but that would be a good problem to have. So, wait right there. I'm going to try on this first set. Okay, so this is the first outfit. And forgive me because I can't get the height of the tripod quite right so that you can get the full image. But I will take some still shots and I will insert them. First impressions, let me see if I can get it here, far away, you probably won't even see it. Um, but anyway, I love this shirt. Make your soul happy. <laughs> it's kind of sparkly. Um, first of all, the size 3, um, 22-24, um, it fits like a glove. I mean, it's actually the pants. I was really concerned about the pants mostly. Because, like, you know, it's really good active wear. It's very high quality. It's super soft, very supportive. Like, they're high waisted. Um, 
like as you can see. They're very high-waisted. Um, they even have the little pockets on the side, which I didn't realize that they had that. Um, but they're super, super soft and super supportive. Like I feel everything's like sucked in, <laughs> which is great whenever you're doing a lot of jumping around and like if you're a bigger person, you know, jumping and being moving around really fast and stuff like that, it can actually become really painful and it pulls on your joints and things like that. So you want to definitely make sure that you're wearing a high quality um, compression gear that just kind of holds everything in. Um, it's going to make things, make you able to do more intense workouts. At least that's what I found. So let me see if I can raise up you guys. <laughs> Hello. All right. I'm real professional here guys anyway so and it has this really cute little racerback thing um i freaking love it i love it so much and it just feels really good on um i am not gonna lie since i've started working out a lot um and just wearing this kind of gear it's just so comfortable <laughs> And I just, I find myself, if I don't have to be anywhere, like if I don't have to go somewhere, I literally will not put on like normal clothes. Yes. I'll wear my workout gear. Okay. So that was outfit number one. And I love it. I'm super excited about it. I know you guys can't really see it, but like I said, I'll post pictures. Okay. Try on number two. This one I'm so excited about. Okay. So. Here is the second one. Um, can't really get the angle very well, but I will insert pictures. Um, this one also is very comfortable. This one is a little more high-waisted than the other set. Um, let me see if I can point it down and get you a better angle. Um, yeah, like they are super high-waisted, fit like a glove, and they're actually quite snug. So, very versatile, very, oh, they're so comfortable. And uh, cute little detailing. Um, but yeah, very high quality, um, feels super good on. The only thing I don't like is that the feeling of this, um, and I feel like it'll probably crinkle in the wash and not be as nice after I wash and dry it. So I'm gonna have to read the washing instructions and make sure I wash it correctly. But yeah, so those are my two reward outfits. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, I'm gonna be doing, let me adjust this so I don't have to hunch. Um, starting tomorrow, starting a new program, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm really, um, you can have it back in a second. Um, I'm not totally in love with the Morning Meltdown 100 just because, um, I don't know, I'm not getting the vibe from Jericho. But at the same time, when I first tried Autumn's, uh, the 21 Day Fix Real Time, I wasn't in love with it either because I was just coming off of Transform 20. Dog chill um and shanti is very motivating and it's just very different um but i ended up loving 21 day fix um i really liked the program however i do want to note my nutrition stayed on point i did really well there and i worked out hard in all of the workouts i think i lost roughly five pounds so i'm down a total of 30 pounds so far like 30 pounds even and so I've lost, I lost, I can't remember what it was the last time I checked in, but I think it's roughly about five pounds in these three weeks, which is great. Do not get me wrong. That's absolutely great. Um, but I noticed I did not transform like my muscles and stuff like that. Like I didn't change nearly as much as I didn't transform 20. And, and in fact, I feel like in some cases I lost some of the gains that I had made through transform 20. So a lot of the results coming out from the morning meltdown 100 like some people are like 
their transformations are freaking phenomenal, like insane. So I'm trying to keep an open mind, which is very important, and I'll give it a fair give it a fair shake. If I'm not feeling it after like a week or two, I may actually go to lift four, or I might do transform twenty again. Um, the shift shop. There's a lot of programs. So many programs on the on demand. Like it's a, it's a literally it's a Netflix of workout videos, and it's amazing. So there's so many options that if I'm not feeling this one, I'm gonna go to another one. Um, the girls on my team. I know that one of them is gonna start trend, uh, 21 day fix real time tomorrow because she just finished transform 20 t yesterday. So I may see if when she finishes. 21 day fix if I'm still not feeling morning meltdown 100 then I will find out what she's gonna do next and us start a program together because I think that's super motivating and a lot of fun going through the same thing at the same time so all right that being said it is time to press play and do my last workout for 21 day fix in today's yoga I thought about doing another like intense double up kind of day or whatever but I just want to stretch it out and once I get done stretching it out we have um, grocery shopping and meal prep and all that kind of stuff to do today so check back in in a little bit okay so I'm back and I just finished I'm not gonna say just like 30 minutes ago um, <laughs> just finished um, transport or my brain is not functioning properly just finished 21 day fix real time. Um, today was yoga, like I mentioned earlier. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I really don't like yoga. Pilates, okay, I can do. It's more of a, there's more movement, I guess, to Pilates. I'm just not graceful. And I think if I had been better prepared, like my friend Sheila, who does yoga a lot, um, showed me how I could do a couple of poses using a chair that would make it a little bit easier and I could kind of get the full benefit of the movement um, and it'd be a little bit easier like particularly on my knees because my knees are really not the greatest anyway so but it's done I don't I don't have to do yoga right now <laughs> anymore I will but I don't have to um, and a friend of mine that um, I met on Instagram, she had told me about if you have an Amazon like Fire Stick and you're watching your Beachbody On Demand through there, there's a button that you can press that will focus on the modifier, the person, because all of the workouts, I don't think there are any workouts that don't have a modifier. Um, in the new program that I'm starting tomorrow, there are two modifiers. So there's three levels of intensity that you can, you know, three ways to do the move um, but anyway she said if you watch it through your fire stick you can there's a button you can press that'll make it a split screen to where you have to see the full workout over here and then there's a uh, image of just the modifier which is a game changer um, because my biggest complaint um, of morning meltdown 100 right now is the fact that it's always um, it, it's always very focused on her and the Jericho and so it which is great for everybody who can keep up with her but for those who have have to use the modifiers and are struggling with it you can't see the um, the super beginner modifier she's all the way in the back like what should be happening is Jericho should be in the middle the beginner modifier should be on one side and the intermediate modifier should be on the other side. That way it's front and center for everyone to see. Um, so just a little bit of negative feedback, I guess you'd say. Um, but anyway, she had said that there was an option to do that uh, because she did it for Transform 20, which, you know, I figured I finished Transform 20 as well. I never knew that was an option. Um, however, in Transform 20, the modifier was up front and those moves were very normal. I don't want to say normal. Normal is the wrong word. Those moves were once he would show it to you, he would show it to you slowly and then show you full speed or whatever. And the modifier, she was right there in the front and they panned to her a lot. Um, so it was very easy to do the modification. Um, 
but she, she said that she used, she did this split screen. And so I went back and I looked at it and I noticed, and I never noticed it before, but down at the bottom of the screen, there was a button that said mod. So when I clicked on it, it did, it opened it up in a split screen. And so the modifier was on one side and the full video was on the other. It wasn't the same modifier, but it was somebody else who was doing the workout, but in a modified version. It, but it wasn't the full modifier. So I think the way that that one worked is you could see the full version, the beginning version, and then the intermediate version, which was really cool. And it's gonna come in handy whenever I do it again, because I freaking love Transform 20 and I'm really, kind of really debating doing it again, like next week, but. I said I was gonna give it a fair shake, so I have to give it a fair shake. Anyway, so I feel really good about finishing that program. I just feel good about setting goals and actually accomplishing them, and that's that's the best part about the whole thing. And the fact that it's almost three months and it's still going strong on this journey. Um, I've decided over the next couple months, because I've done really well in three months, I mean, I mean, just a week shy of three months, um, 30 pounds, I mean, that's averaging 10 pounds a month, that's healthy, sustainable weight loss and you know whenever you lose weight super super fast it it's not healthy and it's not easy to sustain that and maintain it um, so you know two pounds a week is a healthy men you know sustainable weight loss so I'm right I'm pretty much right there you know and it, I know it goes on really quickly <laughs> it seems like it goes on really quickly and it's very slow to come off but slow and steady is best because you don't want to throw your body into some kind of crazy it doesn't know what's going on going on so even though it's slow it's progress and that's the most important thing so I um, made my my shake which I haven't very uh, bad thing I haven't eaten today so this is my breakfast and the kiddo is getting ready she wants to do something fun but it's in the mid 90s outside and I really don't want to go outside and as you can see behind me there's the house needs to be cleaned so I really want to do a cleaning and um, just things that need to be done um, <laughs> Sunday is about getting everything ready for the week and you making sure that you are successful you know for this this week coming up and kind of planning out your week your meals when you're gonna work out your schedule and all that kind of stuff so it also is sad because then it means tomorrow's Monday and not that I dread the week or anything like that but I dread the work um, I just don't like I just don't like the work part <laughs> not that I don't like working it's just I'm not that happy with my job as we've talked as we've discussed before so I do get a bit of like this morning when I woke up I had just this rush of like just anxiety because I gotta go and do a job that I really don't love and in an environment that I really don't like and that's sucky but thinking on the level of being grateful about things at least I have a job um, and it'll be okay it's only the vast majority of my day but I can I can make it work so I've rambled on enough and and I'm sorry that I don't get these videos up as often as I had said I would or that I would like to but the important part is that I'm still going I'm still working at it and honestly I was gonna bore the crap out of you guys because my life is pretty boring and it's hard to come up with entertaining content if you will um, I think Julie gave me some premium content that I will include probably at the end of this video um, just because it won't really flow very well <laughs> and I'll throw in some images from my workout today she she did really good she got some interesting poses of me doing yoga so anyway I hope you guys have a great week Leave me a comment, let me know how you've been doing, and you know, if you have any ideas for any kind of particular video that you would like, um, just leave me a comment, let me know. I'm definitely open to suggestions, and I'd be happy to um, make something happen. All right, guys.
Take care. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you later. to be exact. Mom, don't make the blender go. I need to put you in the video. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. She's putting peanut butter on bananas. Can you flip it? No. No, you can't flip it. Yep. I just got the top of the blender. <laughs> I'm holding waffles in my arm. It's warm. Ooh. I gotta go before the blender goes. <laughs> Sprints out of here. Guys, I saw my life flash before my eyes. So, I was walking. We have a fireplace, and the entire fireplace is just, like, surrounded in brick for, like, safety, you know? Um, <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, it's a dog. Um, but, like, I was running around that corner, and I don't about just, I'm wearing sandals, and I about just sliced off all of my toes. Oh, my God. Ooh. Ooh. I'm pumped gonna be the greatest of the days yes hey y'all it's still the same day but like i have waffles so yeah i mean look bang huh um there's a dog sitting horrifyingly close to my waffles okay so, it is almost time to get going on this thing we call life. Look at it outside. Looks like a good fall day. It's in the middle of summer. I will go out and instantly be miserable. I have weird body movements. Wah! Sophie. Sophie. Let's go investigate. Uh, whoa. Um. <sighs> okay. I'm breathing. I'm living my best life. I, I swung. I swung. I swinged. What is the plural of swing? I sound dumb now, don't I? It's okay. What's up, dog? Oh my. Wow. My move bone. Hi, guys. Mom, say hi. Hi. Wow. Where is it? I'm getting something to eat. It's in the microwave. <laughs> Whoa. I'm back with juice. Right, Ma? Grandma. Right, Ma. Oh my. What? Wow. It's the blood of the children who disrespect me. Wow. It's real dark. 
I'm kidding. Got slapped today. Who slapped you? It was an accident. I got slapped though. Were they at least cute? You're ruining my premium content! Hey guys. We're here. I'm making premium content for you, mommy. Okay. Oh, did I feed some? Uh, the bowls look empty. Oh, oh. I get the Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I forgot to feed my cats because I'm a horrible person. I just got freaked out myself. Right. I just moved my arm like this and then I saw the shadow in the and I thought somebody would do. It's just myself. <laughs> <Ooh. That's scary. laughs> Story time. Two cats. Not two at the same time, but two cat stories. I was sitting. We were all sitting. What? Now you don't block the mic. Oh, I thought it was a bug. <laughs> We're both a little jumpy today. 